My friends, in Romans chapter 11, verse number 34, there's a meditation for us today. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has become his counselor? Two important things here. No one can understand the mind of the Lord, only he can. We only know what he reveals to us. But we don't know how it's going to be a trillion years from now. But he knows. He knows everything, folks. We can trust in him because he is the way to eternal joy. So who can understand the mind of the Lord? We only know what he reveals to us. The second important fact here in Romans 11, verse number 34 says, Or who has become his counselor? He doesn't need a counselor. He has no counselor. Who could do that? Oh, Dr. Suarez, there are so many wise people in the world. Silly mistake. Mankind is completely evil and filthy. Mankind only thinks about bad things, but we who are of God should always strengthen ourselves in the Lord God and always obey Him, folks. Take a look at a blessed person. I did many exams and the doctors detected a nodule in my left breast. I've been saying prayers and I've been crying out so much to God. And now, after the prayer, I was trying to find it, and it's gone. It's gone to the glory it's of God. It's gone forever, sister. Thank you, Jesus. Now I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for these people. I rebuke all the evil from their lives. I order it to get out. Leave them. Don't disturb them anymore. You cannot remain there. Disappear now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am rebuking the evil. You will leave these people right now. I am not asking, I am ordering now. Let go of these lives in the name of Jesus. And you say, Amen. I believe. Be a blessing in the name of Jesus and Amen.